Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. This is Yoga for Cancer. So it's a gentle movement, breathing, and we end with a short little meditation. So feel free to grab a chair. Uh, if you would like to turn your video on so that we can see you, you are totally welcome to. If you want to leave it off, you are more than welcome to. We'll just pin us so that we are bigger so that you have access to us. Let's move you back just a little bit so we can see you a little bit better. Should I get a block? No, that's right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stand right behind the chair. And as you can see, the chair is on a sticky mat. So if it's on a sticky mat or a rug, just something so that you are able to um, send weight onto the chair without the chair slipping. So standing behind the chair, we find what we call our mountain pose, our Tadasana. Hands can rest on the chair back or they can drop by your sides, but please feel your feet at the base of your body. Ground down through your feet and embrace the weight of your feet. And then take a breath in and embrace how big the rib cage can be. Breath out, narrow the rib cage, get empty of all the air. Then again, inhale, you're broad in the rib cage, broad in your back. Then exhale, you're narrow in the rib cage and narrow in your back. Last one, breathe in big, as big and as dramatic as the breath in has been yet today. And then exhale all the way out. Please leave your hands on the chair, send weight there, begin to Walk your weight back, similar to a downward facing dog. It's just, we have the added benefit of the height of the chair. We can just sort of rest the hands there and let our chest hammock down while we begin to stretch the spine and stretch the back of the legs. And you can pull the feet back as far as your body wants. And then energetically, you could pull your bum back away from the chair. But if at any point any of that is too much, just walk the feet closer in or send the weight of the bum forward to lessen the strain of it. Then please breathe in in your chosen position. Open your mouth as you breathe out and let the chest drop down. Give it one more inhale and it's broad in the ribs, broad in your back here. Exhale it out. And then I want you to step your right foot forward only. Your left foot's gonna be about three and a half feet back and turn the toes out. Begin to pull the right hip back. This is what we call our pyramid pose. Now the elbows can drop on the chair. You can even interlace your hands. And if this is enough sensation for you, then just stay exactly like this and breathe right into that right hip. Breathe from that right hip. Or if you want more depth, you can walk the hands down to the chair seat, lowering the body a little bit more. And if again, that's too much, just hands back on the chair back. Take a breath in and out. Two more here to really feel that stretch in the back of the right leg, your inhale. Your exhale. Then it's one more breath in. Complete the breath out and then everybody left hand on the chair seat. Lift the left heel up so that the toes point forward and bend your right knee. Open your chest to the right. Send the right arm up to the sky. This supported lunge twist. Breathe in, right hand on chair back, left hand to match, and then take the right foot back to our downward facing dog. And it could be one step or a million steps to get you back. Pulling your bum back, feeling the back of your body, the back of your legs open up and stay in that sensation as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, then please step your left foot forward. 
The right toes will turn out about 45 degrees and the feet are only about three feet away from each other. Pull your left hip back now, and then you can keep the palms on the chair back or drop the elbows to the chair back with your interlaced hands and you can drop your head and then hang out here with yourself for a moment while you really feel the back of your left leg now open up. Focus your mind on it without crinkling up your face and breathe in. A complete breath out. Again, you breathe in. And a complete breath out. Last one, either stay on the chair back or drop your hands to the chair seat if you want lower. And if that's too much, simply bring it back to the chair back. After you complete one breath there, now pop the right heel up, turn the toes forward and bend your left knee. Right hand on the chair seat and open your chest to the left. Breathe in to that twist. Deepen in your twist. You take one more breath in. And your breath out. Left arm over your head and then step up. Right foot steps up. And give yourself about a foot away from the chair back. Take a breath in. Then bend both knees in your chair pose as you breathe out. Either stay or reach your arms up to the sky. And then inhale, stand all the way up, reach your arms up, look up, hands by your side as you breathe out. And we're just gonna repeat that sequence. We tend to be able to go a little bit further when we repeat. So palms on the chair, walk your feet back, find your downward facing dog, whatever depth works for you. And then please step your right foot forward, turn the left toes out in our pyramid pose here. You can pull the right hip back and either forearms land on your chair or the chair back or the chair seat. It's your choice, but continue to ground the right foot down while you pull the right hip back. Breathe in. Breath out. One more, inhale. And exhale, pop your left heel up, left palm on chair, bend right knee and find your twist to the right. Opening up the chest and pressing back in the left heel. Then reach right arm overhead, one or a thousand steps back to downward facing dog. Not a lot of weight on the arms, you're just here to open up the chest. So if it's too much weight on the hands, you can walk the toes closer in so the legs take the weight. We don't wanna to send too much weight to the upper body. And then please send your left foot forward and turn the right toes out. Breathe in, chest up. Either palms stay where they are, drop forearms down or let the hands find the chair seat. Take your inhale as the left foot pulls back or left hip pulls back. Stay for the breath out. Again, inhale. Stay, exhale. Pop the right heel up, bend your left knee, right palm on chair, left arm to sky. Inhale, open up more, exhale. Then left arm overhead, land, uh, left hand down, step the right foot up, breathe in, then bend your knees as you breathe out. Either keep the hands low or send them forward or all the way up to the sky. Stand all the way up, inhale. Hands by your sides, exhale. Back to that same mountain pose with your eyes closed, breathe in big. Breathe out, narrow. One more in mountain pose. Inhale, big. 
Exhale, narrow, complete the exhale, blink your eyes open, walk around to the front of the chair and sit down in it. Feet are right underneath your knees. You can lift the right leg up using the strength of your arms and cross right ankle over your left thigh. Be sure that right foot is hanging off of the left knee. And I want you to press the right thigh down, not the kneecap, but the thigh down with the right hand as you lift your chest up to create some space in the hip. Then if that's enough of a stretch for you, stay. But if you want more, keep pressing the right thigh down as you tip your chest forward and you just stop wherever the sensation works for you. You could turn your head from one side to the other. And then find the center if the head is turning. Hands grab the back of your right thigh, interlace, you can use the strength of your arms and then stretch the leg right out in front of you, point the foot, move that ankle around and then set it down. Then same thing with the left, grab the back of the left thigh, lift it up and cross ankle over your thigh. Take the left hand and press your left thigh down. You may already feel this one tighter or this one more open, breathe in. Keep pressing the thigh down, not the knee, as you can stay or tip your chest forward until the sensation lands in the spot that works for your body on this side. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can stay or turn your head from left to right. Then find the center in the head. If it's moving, grab the back of your left thigh, interlace it, and then stretch your left foot forward. Move the ankle and the foot around, and then set it down. Sit on the edge of your chair and widen your uh, legs. Turn the toes out, hands to the inside of the thighs, and you could just dip one shoulder in and then the other while the hips have a chance to be symmetrically open. And then find the center and please sit back so that your spine can be supported by the chair. Feet can land in symmetry as well. Hands on armrests or in your lap. Close your eyes and breathe in. And breathe out. We end in our breath meditation. So on your inhale, expand your lungs. Exhale, deplete your lungs. Inhale, expand your lungs. Exhale, deplete your lungs. One more, expand your lungs. Deplete your lungs. Focus just on those lungs. Inhale, expand your ribs. Exhale, deplete your ribs. Expand your ribs. Deplete your ribs. And then one on your own. Expand your skin, breathe in. Deplete your skin as you breathe out. Expand your skin as you breathe in. Deplete 
complete your skin as you breathe out. One on your own. A breath, breathing into all three sections as you inhale your lungs, your ribs, your skin. Exhale all three sections, your lungs your ribs, your skin. Two more. Inhale all three sections. Nice. Exhale all three sections. Last one. Inhale all three sections. Exhale all three sections. And then just breathe naturally in this state of awareness. This moment of simply being in suspension. Observing your natural breath as it comes in and out. Knowing that if our mind ever feels caught in the past or trapped in the future, that the breath is always happening now. Use it to anchor yourself that. Bring your palms together at the center of your chest and gently bow your chin in a moment of gratitude for showing up for yourself this morning. Take a breath in and out as you let your hands land in your lap. Slowly begin to integrate as you send the gaze forward with it being open. And then have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next Friday, same time. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.